So, Merry Christmas! Tis that magical time of the year where I actually have some time to take a break and upload some more tutorials. So, for today, let's talk about why you need to name your shit. This isn't really a technique, but it's extremely good practice. If you're working for a company, obviously use whatever naming conventions they require, but even if you're just working for yourself, try and get into the habit of naming your layers as you go. For example, here you can see we have a leather gingerbread cookie character, and if you were trying to navigate this stuff, it makes sense that all the layers pertaining to the arms would be under one folder, so name it appropriately. And then within that folder, take one extra step and organize it a little further. Because if you do, it's easy to tell that all the button stuff would probably be here. All the orange seams would be in here. All the sleeve stuff would be controlled over here. All the watch outline stuff would be here. And the base leather is obviously going to be at the bottom. But can you imagine trying to figure out what layer controls what? If you open this file a month later after a vacation, or even worse, if you're working on a team, can you imagine another texture artist trying to navigate navigate your work seeing it for the first time, they would waste hours just turning things on and off trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But again, even if you're just working by yourself, let's just say that you're working for a client, and you did your job perfectly. You follow their description and their concept art with flawless precision, and then they mumble the four cursed words. I changed my mind. And then they say something like, my new favorite color is red, I want you to change everything that's light blue to red. So you open your file, and hopefully, if you named everything appropriately, you'll be like, okay, well, the designs are probably on the body, and they are on the front of the body, so probably here, and bam, you're in, you're out, the client's happy, you're done. So, name your stuff. You will be grateful later on. But as always, hope that helps. Hope you have a fantastic day. Merry Christmas. Please enjoy the holidays. And I'll see you around.